Hello and thank you for coming to check out this video. In this video I'll be going through a lab guide that a colleague of mine created. Now I'm going to give a little bit of a history as to how that lab guide came about and why this video series is in existence. Um, this colleague of mine is named Anthony and, and, and Anthony and I were both working with uh, World of Foundations for PAC 2020 which is an initiative where we're teaching technology to children in Haiti. Now, we were supposed to actually go down to Haiti and be instructors and have full-fledged courses and labs for them to do. But then, of course, you know, the current situation in the world has kind of made it difficult to do travel and unsafe to do travel. So what we were going to do was a virtual seminar. And this was going to be a sort of self-paced lab and to go with the lab guide since we're not there to answer questions or show them how to do things we were going to do this video series and so the video series is something that I'm going to be hosting here on YouTube and um, now that you understand how that all came about we can go ahead and move forward so what we're going to be doing is is an open source deal because uh, we wanted it to be available to anybody and everybody and so we're using free PBX since that's an open source product and then For the SIP phones or the the endpoints we're going to use a product called micro SIP So I'll show you I'll put in the description of this video all the different links for where to download things um, We're going to be using virtual box as well from Oracle that's going to be the the way that we're going to create our virtual machines and in this video we're going to talk about the topology we're going to talk about um, how to install VirtualBox and then in the subsequent videos we'll talk about how to install FreePBX how to configure FreePBX and then how to configure MicroSIP and get the endpoints registered with MicroSIP or sorry how to um, get the MicroSIP endpoints configured uh, registered with the free PBX then we'll start doing some test calls and checking voicemails and making sure that the different features and functions that we've configured actually work now here's the topology in front of us right you're gonna need a layer 3 switch you're gonna need a Windows PC because that's how we're running the lab and then on that Windows PC you're gonna need to have the privileges to be able to actually install Oracle and I tried to, to uh, install the Oracle Virtual Box on an actual virtual machine. That didn't work. I, it only worked when I installed it on my actual laptop running Windows. Another thing that's very important to note is that the lab guide is set up for uh, different groups to work together. So uh, groups would be paired up as group 1 being paired up with group 2, group 3 being grouped up with group 4, group five being paired up with group six and so on and so forth. So each and every group is going to have this same topology, but they're going to end up communicating with um, the next group over. Now that we've gotten that out, all out of the way, let's move on to actually installing VirtualBox. In order to install VirtualBox, we'll want to go to virtualbox.org slash wiki slash downloads, and I'll put that link in the description of the video. The operating system that I am using is on a Windows 10, so we'll want to go to Windows Host and save this file. We'll save that there. Now that it's saved, I can go ahead and click on it to run the installation file. We'll hit Next. I'm not going to really change anything. I, I don't want to have anything like this except for... Um, I'll leave the register file associations and I'll leave uh, create a shortcut on the desktop as well. And then this is an important uh, warning that your network interface will be reset. Therefore, uh, your network connection will be temporarily disconnected. And I'll go ahead and hit install and we'll let this do its thing. I'm asked if I would like to install it and I'm not always going to trust the software, but I will go ahead and do the install. And again, I'm not always going to trust the software and do the install. So 
So as you can see, I did lose my network connection for a little while, but now I have the option to finish this and start the Oracle VM VirtualBox 6114 after the installation is done. So I'll go ahead and click finish. We'll just wait for the VirtualBox to uh, fire up. Right down here, it looks like it's done. All right, so now we have VirtualBox installed. We can end this video here and we'll pick up on the next segment of the video series. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.